हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड नमस्ते एवरी वन आई एम धवल सर एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज योर यूनिट टू ऑफ सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर दैट इज फुट प्रिंट्स विदाउट फीड चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज द थीव्स स्टोरी बाय रस्किन बॉन्ड राइट सो इन अवर टूडेज चैप्टर द थीव्स स्टोरी इज बेस्ड ऑन द थीम ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप लॉयल्टी ट्रस्ट change in the behavior right then betrayal betrayal means cheat okay so this is the theme of the story that means all these things will be noticing in this chapter right so the story is based on the fact that how love and kindness can change or transform even the most destructive person or the destructive minds of a criminal person right that is from negativity towards the positivity in this cruel world okay so this chapter is a story about a 15 year old thief boy named hari singh and a 25 year old writer whose name is anil so hari singh is a young boy and the name hari singh is not his real name it is actually the name which he keeps on changing right so it is the name which was introduced by him when he met anil okay so why he did like this because he was a thief and he always wanted to stay ahead of the police that means he didn't want himself to be caught by the police so therefore he kept on changing his name and he also wanted to stay away from the employers employers means the person or the people who appointed him for the job why because he used to cheat everyone and then he used to run away or go away from that place this time he met anil and he tried to make friend uh, try to make friendship with him and he also asked him for some kind of work he told anil that means hari singh who is a young 15 year old boy asks anil for some kind of work and anil was a very kind fellow so he uh, gives him a work and he blindly trusted that young boy named hari singh okay so in this chapter we'll see how hari singh uh, tried to cheat anil but at the end he changes his mind and the money whatever he has looted or robbed from anil's place he tries to return that money right the reason behind is uh reason behind this is the loyalty or the trust what anil kept on hari singh and because of that his mind changed totally and he decided to give away or give back the money which he had robbed okay so let's start with the chapter to see the chapter in detail okay that is line by line i was still a thief when i met anil and though only 15 i was an experienced and fairly successful and that means i here means hari singh who is a 15 year old boy right and as i said hari singh is not his real name right so the real name is not mentioned in the chapter because he kept on changing his name every time okay and he is saying that though he was 15 years old he was very experienced that means uh, he frequently kept on robbing the people okay and fairly successful and that means he was always successful in uh, doing the robbery or the theft anil was watching a wrestling match when i approached him that means when this young fellow reached anil he was watching the wrestling match he was about 25 a tall lean fellow lean means thin and he looked easy going that means he had a very cool and calm nature 
काइंड एंड इजी गोइंग काइंड एंड सिंपल इनफ फॉर माई पर्पज देट मीन्स एज आई सेड ही वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल फेलो एंड अ काम बॉय और अ काइंड पर्सन सो हरी सिंग थॉट देट इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर हिम टू रॉब अनिल आई हेडेंट हैड मच लक ऑफ लेट एंड दो I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. So here, what is said that I hadn't had much luck of the late. Much luck of the late means he is talking about his past. That in the recent time, uh, he could not find any person easily whom he could rob. Okay, and though and thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. Okay, so this time. After seeing Anil, he felt that he is the person whom he can easily rob. You look a bit of a wrestler yourself, right? In the beginning only, we saw uh, read about Anil that he was a tall, lean fellow. Lean means very thin fellow. He was a very he was a person who was very thin. But then to this, Hari Singh is telling Anil that. you look a bit of wrestler yourself so from this words you can understand right what he is trying to do he is trying to do butter polish that means he is trying to make him impress i said a little flattery helps in making friends so flattery means what so flattery means a kind of appraisal or a praise which is not sincere right so he was as i said that he was trying to praise anil which was not sincere right uh, what we call is butter polish type okay so a, fla- a little flattery helps in making friends that we have understood later on so do you he replied which put me off for a moment because at that time i was rather thin right so here the anil also was shocked to hear when hari singh said that you look, look a bit of wrestler yourself right so what he saying so do you he replied which put me off for a moment because at that time i was rather thin well i said modestly i do wrestle a bit what's your name hari singh right so this is the conversation going on between hari singh and anil i lied so this words are spoken by hari singh because as i said in the introduction he kept on changing his name and this time when he introduced or he met anil he is saying his name uh, he is saying or he is introducing himself as hari singh which is a lie i took a new name every month that kept me ahead of police and my former employer so this i have already explained it to you after this introduction Anil talked about the well-oiled wrestlers who were grunting, lifting and throwing each other about. I didn't have much to say. Anil walked away. I followed casually. Right. So this is again a kind of conversation going on between Anil and Hari Singh. Right. Because as Anil was watching the match, so they are discussing or talking about the wrestlers that. the wrestlers are their bodies are oiled right and when they fight with each other they grunt grunt means they make a kind of a noise okay then lifting and throwing each other so hari singh is saying that i didn't have much to say and anil walked away and he followed him that means anil is not showing any kind of response hello again he said i gave him my most appealing smile that means hari is again saying hello to anil and when anil looks at hari he gives a most appealing smile most appealing smile means a very sweet a sweet smile through which any person can get uh, attached to him right so what hari is saying that i gave him my most appealing smile i want to work for you i said but i can't pay you okay so i want to work for you so these are the words spoken by hari i said but i can't pay you so 
what anil is saying that if you want to work for me okay i don't have any problem but the problem is that i cannot pay you any kind of money because i don't have money right so these are the words spoken by anil next page i thought that over for a minute that means hurry right he is thinking about the work that what should he do because if he works at anil's place he is not going to get any kind of money perhaps i had misjudged my man that means he had thought that anil might be having a lot a uh, lot of money but when he is saying that i cannot pay you anything uh, hari feels that he has misjudged the person that means he has taken the wrong decision i asked can you feed me i hear means hari the 15 year old boy he is asking anil again that can you feed me that can you provide me if you don't pay me any kind of money it's okay but can you provide me with the food that is daily need of the food i can cook uh, then what anil is saying that is can you cook then the boy 15 year old boy who was a thief lied again he is against uh, lying what he is saying i can cook but in real sense he didn't know any kind of cooking if you can cook then maybe i can feed you so anil again is replying to hari that if you know cooking then i can feed you that means i can provide you with the food he took me to his room over the jamna sweet shop that is the name of the uh, shop over there which is lying next to anil's house and told me i could sleep on the balcony right but the meal i cooked that night must have been terrible because anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off that means the food cooked by hari was so terrible that anil uh, anil could not that means the cook food uh, food cooked by hari was so terrible that anil could not even eat the single bite and it was totally a waste and he understood that this fellow doesn't know how to cook and so the food was given away to the dog street dog okay and told me to be off told me to be off means uh, he told hurry that you don't need to cook again but i just hung around smiling in my most appealing way and he couldn't help laughing right so uh, this young fellow hurry he didn't even got angry and he is just kept on smiling so by seeing this even anil also started laughing later he patted me on the head and said never mind he would teach me to cook so anil told hari that now i will teach you how to cook he also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers right so anil told hari that i will also teach you how to read and write i was grateful i here means hari i knew that once i could write like an educated man there would be no limit to what i could achieve so now hari is thinking positively that if i learn how to read how to write then after is learning that he will also be able to get work and earn a good or a handsome amount of money i was quite pleasant working for anil i made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day's supplies day's supply means whatever the necessary things were required for the whole day that is the cooking of cooking things vegetables and everything that were all purchased by hari usually making a profit of about a rupee a day that means whatever money was given by anil to hari singh for buying the supplies that is vegetables and milk and everything every day hari would take away 1 rupee from that i think he knew i made a little money this way but he didn't seem to mind that means hari is saying that anil might be knowing that he was taking away the money from this but he never scolded him for doing that and he never told anything to him okay later on so in the picture you can see the 
यंग मैन ही इज अनिल एंड द यंग बॉय इज हरी एंड ही इज टीचिंग हिम टू राइट ओके नेक्स्ट पेज अनिल मेड मनी बाय फिट्स एंड स्टार्ट्स सो फिट्स एंड स्टार्ट मीन्स डूइंग स्मॉल काइंड ऑफ वर्क्स राइट सो फिट्स एंड स्टार्ट मीन्स अ पर्सन हू डज नॉट हैव अ काइंड ऑफ रेग्युलर इनकम Sometimes he might have work, then he might earn a good amount of money, and sometimes he is totally unemployed. Means he did not have any kind of work and no money at all. He would borrow one week, lend the next. Borrow one week means he, if he did not have any kind of work, he did not have any kind of money, then he had to borrow money from someone else. But when he got the work, he immediately paid the next week. He kept worrying about his next check. So as I said, he did not have any kind of regular work, and whatever work he used to get, so he kept on waiting for the amount or the check, which from which he could get the money. But as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. So he had a kind of a nature when that is when he used to have money, he used all those money, right? Usually, what do we do? is when we get some kind of money or if we are earning we save a bit of that money for the future purpose but anil had such a kind of nature that when he used to get money he celebrated it and he wasted or used all the money it's uh, seems he wrote for magazines a queer way to make a living right queer or queer way means a strange way of making money because here he did not have the regular income for or a regular job where he could get a regular earnings okay whenever he wrote any kind of articles he used to get the money and again he need to keep on writing for the magazine then only he would get the earnings one evening he came home with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book to a publisher that means he had written a book and he was supposed to sell the book which is actually bought by a publisher and for that he had got a lot of money at night i saw him tuck the money under the mattress tuck means he put it inside okay under the mattress that is the bed sheet i had been working for anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping apart from cheating on the shopping means whenever he used to go every day for buying daily supplies he used to take 1 rupee 1 rupee every day so he is saying except that he had not cheated or robbed anything okay had not done anything in my line of work my line of work means his work was of doing robbery or uh doing theft so he said that except taking that 1 rupee every day he had not done any kind of cheating i had every opportunity for doing so so he is saying that though he had every opportunity of robbing or doing a theft at anil zoom he did not do it anil had given me a key to the door and i could come and go as i pleased as i pleased means whenever he wanted to he was the most trusting person i had ever met so hari is saying that he was the most trustworthy person right and he even trusted hari singh a lot and that is the reason he had gave uh, given away the keys of the house and that is why it was so difficult to rob him right if a person who is not good to us that means if a person like hari singh who is a thief and where he works and the opposite person or who is the employer who has appointed him is not doing any kind of good behavior towards him then it becomes easy for him to rob but as anil was a very trustworthy person and he was very kind to hari it had become very difficult for him to rob him it's easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed but it's difficult to rob a careless man sometimes he doesn't even notice he is being robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work so he is saying that if a person is very greedy right who keeps a track or a record of one one penny and if you rob that person then he will be very much terrified and he will be very much worried oh my money is stolen 
but he is saying that if a person who doesn't care a lot right if his money is lost or if he is being robbed then it doesn't make any kind of difference to that person and which makes the work uninteresting okay well it's time i did some real work i told myself i am out of practice and if i don't take the money he will only waste it on his friends after all he doesn't even pay me so this is the these are the different thoughts coming in hari's mind that now it's time for him to rob anil and he is saying that uh, it has been a long time he has not robbed anyone or cheated anyone so this is the right time when he can rob anil so uh, that's it for today we'll end our first uh, session over here right and what happens in the next part that is how anil uh, how hari singh robs or tries to rob anil and how the change comes in him so to see that uh, please watch my next video until then uh, stay healthy stay safe and keep watching my videos thank you everyone